Question nine, we want to go from the intervals negative infinity to negative five. So just like the last one, but negative infinity means that it, it starts forever over here. So there really is no ending, but negative five is right there. So we want to look at what's happening to the graph from the left side all the way until you hit negative five. Now that arrow is deceiving, isn't it? Because really we're looking at what is the graph doing as it goes to the right, not to the left? So this is going to be still decreasing. But you'll also notice that this graph is actually above the x-axis. So this has the benefit of having two different types of intervals. It's decreasing, but because it's above the x-axis, we would consider it positive. So it has two classifications, decreasing and positive.